there's very few members of Congress that come from the rural parts of the country. And if you don't come from the rural parts, you don't live there, you don't understand the challenges we face, it's hard for you to, to, to understand the importance that we have, uh, that we put in just connecting with the rest of the country. What the tire companies are doing is bringing that to us. They're allowing us to bring the technology into our house and into our fields. Our mission at American Tower is to provide the wireless infrastructure necessary to support the deployment of wireless technology, including 5G, IoT, and evolving um, wireless technologies. American Tower owns and operates multi-tenant cell tower sites, in-building uh, systems, and rooftop networks designed in locations that will optimize our carrier's desired networks. The new cell sites that are going to handle 5G are going to have things like wood poles, utility poles, street signs, and even new structures on the sides of buildings. So there's a lot of new upgrades we're having to start to make to, to really build out the new network. With the growth and demand of connectivity and by the transition to 5G, we realize that there will be required an upgrade and or expansion of telecommunications infrastructure. American Tower is committed through industry initiatives to support workforce growth in our industry. Knight currently has over 900 member companies. Many of these companies are experiencing a workforce shortage and the Communications Jobs Training Act would be a tremendous avenue for these uh, companies to go to to get skilled workers for new hires. It's time for us to start looking for the nether, for another group of individuals. It's time for our high schools to quit just saying, you gotta go to college, you gotta quit go to college, but have a career path set up for them when they're in high school. And if the federal government isn't going to invest in that, then who is? With the Communication Jobs Training Act, my hope and expectations would be we could go into high school um, and recruit people who have an interest in going to a vocational school or maybe to a trade school, a community college, and educate them on, not on just the safety of the industry, but also the fundamentals of the telecom construction uh, industry. The industry has been asking for us to partner with them, but we may not have the same access as maybe the larger corporations. This country is built on small businesses, and so the small businesses need to have the, the opportunity too, and everybody's gonna be available to apply for those grants to be able to help develop the generations coming behind us.